Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this video, we are gonna install Minecraft on both Linux and Windows. And we are gonna compare which one performs better. So, the specifications of my PC are on the screen. You can see it. As you can see, it has 3 megabits of RAM, 3 megabytes of RAM, and the speed is 2.7 megahertz. It has a Pentium E5400 processor, and it was the PC is around 12 to 13 years old. And I'm not overclocking it, I'm not doing anything. It's just the stock processor and the memory is, as I said, 3 GB. So let's boot into our Windows operating system and see what happens. Let's save changes and exit. And now let me press the boot key because both of the operating systems are installed on my PC. And to boot from the other one, I need to change the boot devices. So here I'm going to do Windows 10 and let's wait for it to boot. Okay, let me fill in the password. And here, as you can see, I have the T launcher. And uh, I'm not going to install paid Minecraft version. We are going to use T launcher to play Minecraft because I don't have that much money to purchase minecraft so let me show you the specs again and this is not the original windows version this is not the original windows this is windows ghost spectre it is a lightweight version of windows that uses less ram and less resources because uh, if uh, i used original windows 10 then it's gonna be a nightmare even opening the file explorer on that operating system so I'm using Windows Go Spectre because it is fast, it uses less resources, less RAM as compared to Windows 10. So let me show you the resources that it's been using. CPU usage is uh, almost at uh, 60 to 70 percent most of the time and memory is 1 gigabit. 1 GB is being used as uh, by the operating system and it's not doing anything yet let me focus and show you as you can see cpu pentium dual core e5400 and it's the operating system is using one gigabits of ram without any processing i'm not uh, doing anything on the processor let's refresh it and now let's launch the t launcher I have already installed the Minecraft. I have not installed the latest version because that's also going to be a nightmare for my 12 year old processor. So I installed a lightweight version of Minecraft. That's a modded version. It's an Optifine 1. Point, wait. It's an Optifine but I forgot if it was 1.14 or 11. Point. Okay, it is 1.14.2. As you can see here. It is written here, it is Optifine 1.14.2. Optifine is basically a lightweight version of the original Minecraft and we can uh, do some additional settings to reduce or maximize the resolution and settings. So it is best for low end PCs which can't run the base Minecraft version properly. So let's try entering the game. This is the first boot. I have not entered the game yet. This is the first time I have clicked the enter game option. And let's see how it goes. How many FPS we get. Alright. It is launching. Minecraft is going to launch now. Because the T launcher window is closed. It's going to take a while because I'm using a hard disk. But okay. So we encountered an error that says you need to restart the launcher and try to start the game again perhaps the game will start but it will work slowly freeze the fps if your computer is old or weak you have windows 10 installed it is recommended to install windows 7 instead okay so t launcher has refused to launch the minecraft and it is saying you should use windows 7 instead 
if you want to play Minecraft on this garbage PC. As you can see, Windows is not. As you can see, Windows is not capable of playing Minecraft on old PCs. Let's try launching it again and wait for the result. I hope that again because I hope. I'm guessing that it's going to show, yep, as expected, the error came back again. It says, please use Windows 7 instead because we, your PC is not capable of Windows 10 and running T-Launcher on Windows 10. So you can use Windows 7 instead to use T-Launcher on that and play Minecraft on that. And it is not guaranteed that it will run on Windows 10, but I think it will probably. But I'm gonna not going to install Windows 7. So, Windows has done its part. So, let's turn it off and boot into Linux. We are gonna use Bodhi Linux for this. Okay, so my PC, let's turn it on again. And remember this, the Bodhi Linux that I'm using, the Linux that I'm using to play Minecraft is also on a hard disk. So don't think that I'm gonna use Linux on an SSD. It is also both of the operating system Windows and Linux that I'm going to use for playing Minecraft are on a hard drive. Let me fill the password. As you can see, Moksha, it is both the Linux. And now let me quickly search for the file. Here we go, Minecraft. It is not installed, so I'm running the java.jar file of tlauncher. I'm going to use the same version of T-Launcher on both of the operating systems. As you can see here, 2.879. The same version was used on Windows. Let me just focus. And it's launched pretty quickly as compared to Windows. As you can see, the same version, Optifine 1.14.2. Let me just show you that it is the same version. As you can see. So let's launch the game and see the results. And again, this is the first boot. This is the first boot. And let's see what happens. Wait, what's with this screen resolution? Let me just increase it to this. I'm not gonna play on full screen on both of the devices because that gonna use more CPU power and we are gonna use as less CPU as possible. And here we are, finally, we are inside the Minecraft Java Edition. It is 1.14.2 and here as you can see, modified. Let me just create a world and start playing it. And let me show you the FPS that I get. And here I am inside the game and it doesn't look quite playable because it's lagging. Let me see the FPS. We are getting 7 frames, 6 frames per second. Let me turn the volume down. We are inside the game and we are getting 6 frames per second, 5 frames per second. So, let me show you the magic of Optifine. Let me just pause the video. Now, I did some modifications and this is the output. We are getting 24, 35 FPS, 32 FPS and it's gonna increase, 42. 53, 40, 36. As you can see, I'm getting good FPS. It's playable, it's kind of playable. This is the magic of Optifine. I reduced the quality of the game to lowest. And this is the output. It's quite playable as compared to Windows because Windows was not even able to launch the Minecraft. Oops. Alright. Come on, die. Okay, we got some chickens. We have a new video, yes. Let's watch it. Let's see if it's easy. Let's not know what. 
So as you can see, this is Linux distro is giving quite playable performance as compared to Windows. So that concludes today's video and that concludes why people that have low-end PCs prefer using Linux instead of Windows. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you again in the next one. Till then, goodbye.